after you've been approved for monetization, one of the first things you will be required to do in your Google AdSense account is submit your tax information. Now, in this video, I will show you step by step how I submitted my tax information from a non-US country, as well as other things to keep in mind and mistakes to avoid. Let's get started. Hello and welcome. My name is Tokwe Aomashi and on this channel, I share information and insights to help you scale your business using YouTube. Now, if you're new here and you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now let's get to today's video. After getting approved for monetization and turning on your ads, you might see this notification in your Google AdSense account or in your YouTube studio. You might even receive an email asking you to submit your tax information. Now under chapter three of the United States Internal Revenue Code, Google is required to collect tax information from all monetized YouTube channels outside the US and in some cases to deduct taxes when these creators earn income from viewers in the US in the form of ad views, YouTube premium, super chats, super stickers, and channel memberships. Now to this effect, you are required to submit your tax information in your Google AdSense account. Now let me take you to my AdSense account and show you step-by-step -step how I did mine from a non-US country. Let's go. All right, so this is my AdSense account after it was freshly created. I saw this prompt asking me to check if additional tax information is required from me. Now it says all YouTube creators and partners are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on our payments are accurate. All right, so let's just click on learn more to see if there are other details that might be worthy of note. Now, first thing I'm seeing on this page here is this note right here that says, make sure you submit your tax information before the 20th to receive a payment in the same month. So this means if you don't submit on time, your monetization doesn't stop or get suspended, but you will not get a payout for that month. It will be carried forward until you submit your tax information. And specifically, if you want payment for that month, you should do it before the 20th. Now, if you scroll down further, you would see a link here where you can read more about US tax requirements for YouTube earnings. If you click on this link, it will open up this page where you can read more about this as well. Having done all that, if you're satisfied with all the information you have, it's time to go back to your AdSense account to get this started. Now, if you're ready to get started, click on manage tax info to start the process. If by mistake you clicked on dismiss and you can't find this prompt anymore, you can go to your payments tab on the left, click on manage settings, and if you scroll down this page, you will see here in the payment profile section, United States tax info. If you click on that pen, you will see manage tax info. But just before you click on manage tax info, be sure that your name showing up here is your legal name. So if your name is abbreviated, you want to write it out in full because you'll be required for your legal name in your tax registration. Now click on manage tax info to get started. So here I'm being asked for the type of account I have. And of course here I'm clicking on individual because it's an individual account. Next, are you a citizen of the United States? For me, the answer is no. Click on next. Now for the W8 forms, you're gonna be using the first form because this is what is used by non-US individuals. The second one is used for businesses. So you're selecting the W8 BEN form. Okay, next we have the form opened. So there's a question here asking you for your DBA. Um, if you don't know what this means, please just skip because it's optional. Next, you're being asked about your country of citizenship. So please fill this correctly. Even if you're located in another country physically, you need to fill in where you are from by birth. 
Next, we have the section where we need to fill in our taxpayer identification number, TIN. Now, this is a tax processing number required by the IRS for some tax forms. Now, if you are claiming tax treaty, you are required to provide either a foreign TIN or a US TIN. Now, if you want to learn more about this, you can click on this blue text here to read more. And um, basically, those that are needed to put foreign TIN or US TIN here are those that are claiming a tax treaty. I already know that Nigeria has no tax treaty with the US, so I won't be filling anything in this section. But if you're not sure if your country has a tax treaty or not with the US, be sure to use the link below to check that out. And if your country has a treaty, definitely fill in the required information here. So I'm going to click on next to continue because my country does not have a treaty. Now it's time to fill in your address. So first here we have the permanent residence address. And if the address you are going to fill in this section is a PO box or an in care of address, meaning you don't stay there, all right, then you want to check this box, okay? Otherwise, you want to leave the box unchecked and just fill in your permanent residence address. So please fill in this aspect very carefully. If you don't know what your postal code is, just find out on Google. So for me, how I knew my postal code was I asked on Google, what is the postal code for my street? And it came out and I've been using that postal code for years. So that is an easy trick for you. Now, if this address also doubles as your mailing address, then you want to check this box, meaning that if you sent anything by mail, it should be delivered to you in this address. Otherwise, you want to fill in a separate mailing address in the section below if your mailing address is different. Click on next. Now we have the tax treaty section. So here it's clearly stated that Nigeria and US don't have a tax treaty. If you have a tax treaty to claim, select yes in this section and follow the prompts. For me, this is a no and I'll just click on next. At this point, I'm gonna be seeing a preview of the form I just filled. So you can click on the PDF here to read what you just typed into the form. Be sure that the details you filled in are correctly placed. If you're satisfied with the details on the form, you can close it and go back to Google AdSense to continue what you are doing. So check this box that says you confirm that what you reviewed is correct and complete. Click on next. So here in the certification step, you just want to be sure that you are aligned with Google AdSense and what they really want. Read everything that they've stated here that yes, you are the person that owns the account and you're not from the US, you know, and all of that. And then sign. How you sign here is by typing in your full legal name. I would say your first name, your middle name, and your last name, all right? Now, if you are the person listed in the signature section, meaning you are the person that owns the account and all of that, you wanna click on yes, to affirm that you are the owner of the account and you're filling on your behalf. However, if you're filling on behalf of someone else, you're an agent, you're an attorney or, or a parent or a guardian or something, you wanna click on no and state the capacity you are filling this form in. If you're an attorney, if you're an executor, your guardian, your parent and all of that. You would also be required to provide proof of your capacity. So be sure that you're doing all this right. I'm going back to click yes because I filled this for myself. Click on next. Okay, now you're being asked, has the individual or entity in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for Google within the US? Of course, for me, the answer is no. The answer for you is yes. Fill that in and follow the next steps. Uh, so I'll select no because that's what it is for me. And I'll check the box to confirm what I just said. Now, next is status change affidavit. Are you providing the tax information for a new or existing payment profile? If you have received payment before, select the relevant option. 
for me i haven't received any payment yet on this channel it's just freshly monetized so i'll select the one that applies to me then submit my tax information is approved now after submitting your tax information your next step would be to verify your identity in google adsense now i already made a video about that and you would find it up here or find it linked in the description area below that's it right there thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and until then keep showing up and keep crushing it bye